This video is by Straight Goods News, sgnews.ca. I did already and I'll comment on it again. I think they're completely unacceptable. I think he's lowered the tone. Uh, I think by choosing to turn it into a, some kind of a partisan issue, he shows that frankly he just doesn't get it. And it shows that he really doesn't understand to what extent uh, Ms. Smith really, in this particular case, is clearly the victim. Well, what was wrong was he turned it into a partisan rant uh, about the official opposition instead of recognizing the fact that Ashley Smith was the victim here. So the minute he went off script and started ranting about uh, the need to not only look at what happened to Ashley Smith but to look at victims, he was looking at her in contradistinction to the word victim, whereas it is clear that Ashley Smith was a victim. And Mr. Tapes doesn't get that. And it shows a whole hardness and a partisan streak that simply fails to recognize that we're dealing with a human being who was abominated by the system, who wound up dying, and instead of showing compassion and care and responsibility for that, he turned it into his typical partisan rant, and it's beneath contempt the way the minister answered this afternoon. The only time the Conservatives began to respond in the Ashley Smith case was when it became clear that they were going to be ordered to make that public, then they started backing up. Then they started talking about it. They changed their tone, they changed their terms of reference with their own attorneys. If this had never been made public, if the Canadian public had never found out about this, they would still be trying to make this. So finally it's become public, but instead of being noble, instead of acknowledging what happened, taking responsibility for it, they're going on the attack, which is the only thing they know how to do. Ashley Smith was the victim here. We should recognize that, have some decency with regard to the family, and not turn it into a typical partisan rant in the house. All you have to do is listen to Vic Taves over and over. He's constantly commenting on court decisions. We heard him do it again over the summer. The real question is, how was this person out in the street? Well, that happened because we have a court system with independent judiciary, and they make decisions based on the rule of law. But he's still sticking his nose in it, so he doesn't get it. And he, he constantly does that. So he's irresponsible as a minister of the Crown. He doesn't understand the separation of powers. And in this case, instead of simply acknowledging that something horrible happened to a human being who was not able to defend and protect herself and she wound up dying from the system that he was in charge of, he's going on the attack again. That's what's so reprehensible in Vic Tate's behavior.